There are four competitive advantages that we have here at Real Brokers that other places don't have. We have economics, we have culture, we have technology, we have opportunity. I am loyal to a fault. What I mean by that is I tend to assume the best about a person until I'm given a reason to think otherwise. But one of the mistakes that I made early in my real estate career, not doing a good enough job checking under the hood on a regular basis. For today's video, we are actually going to talk about some awesome information as it relates to real brokerage uh, as they announced their fourth quarter and full year 2023 financial results. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, this is your brother, your uncle, your favorite realtor's favorite realtor, Marvin. And my job and my objective with every single video is to help you get better, get sharper, and get faster. I will tell you that I am bullish on the success of the real estate industry. I don't believe even with some of the lawsuits and things of that nature that are kind of floating out there, I don't think real estate professionals have anything to worry about both in the short term and the long term. So for today's earning results conversation that we're going to talk about, uh, I am inspired uh, as a real estate professional because I didn't do this at my previous brokerages. I didn't check under the hood on a regular basis. I didn't see how the company is doing from a, a, a liquidity standpoint, a viability standpoint, a debt standpoint. But I have done that with Real Brokerage and you will be very pleased to know a couple of things that we're gonna just talk about here and then I'm gonna let y'all get out of here. So what we're looking at right now is Yahoo Finance's uh, breakdown of Real Brokerage Inc. and the fourth quarter and full year 2023 financial results. I'm gonna link this article as well uh, in the description of this video, but wherever you are as a real estate professional, you should be looking into the earnings calls for your company. If your company is publicly traded, you should be having conversations or at least knowing who leadership is, who resigned from the company, who's recently been hired, what's that person's background, and all of these things will give you a solid idea of where that company is going. It says here, and I'm gonna kind of highlight this section here, Real delivered another year, record year in 2023, despite a challenging industry backdrop. Our performance both in the quarter and the full year is a testament to our unique agent value proposition and scalable technology platform and efficient operating model. I want to talk about quickly the agent value proposition. So what Real has done is innovated on what was out there in the cloud-based model. It is the best, most advantageous cloud-based model out there for agents. I was at the other one that's very popular for almost three years, and I looked under the hood with what Real is doing in their agent value proposition, and so many agents are joining to the tune of 16,000 agents is where we're at at the present time. And a couple weeks ago, as of this recording, we were at 15,000 agents. So we literally added 1,000 agents in a single 30-day span, which is amazing because the other cloud-based brokerage has had a net loss of 2,000 agents as of this recording. So that's something to be aware of. That's just showing you that everyone is skating where the puck is going. The compensation model, if this is your first time tuning in as a brand new agent, whether you're new to the industry or a veteran, everyone gets the same deal, which is great. And that's an 85-15 split, meaning that for $100,000 of GCI, you keep 85 grand of that and Real Brokers gets 15 grand out of that. What you have to provide to them as part of hanging your license here is some of the lowest industry caps that I've ever seen. So out of that 15%, out of the 85-15, Real only requires $12,000 out of that and you're a 100% commission agent with a $285 transaction fee. You keep 99.9% .9 of your commissions after a paltry $12,000 cap, which is amazing. You don't pay anything per month, which is again, other real estate brokerages, any of the big boxes, more than likely you're paying a monthly either desk fee or technology fee or whatever they choose to call it here at Real Brokerage. We don't play those games because at the end of the day, the business model of tomorrow today is all about recurring revenue. How much can I make off of a single customer on a monthly basis in the recurring revenue model? And you're talking with a guy that's got 25 years of sales experience, broken multiple sales records. The name of the game is not necessarily what a person pays up front but what you get that person to pay on a recurring basis. That's why right now as you're watching this, 
you're not going to cancel that Amazon Prime membership. You know why? Because it's convenient. You're not going to cancel that Netflix membership because it's convenience. But for those companies, that is eight bucks, 12 bucks that they know is coming rain, sleet, hell, snow. The real estate industry is no different. But here at Real Brokerage, we don't do that. And I think that those three factors or why we are seeing such exponential growth. All right, it says here, uh, our differentiated technology and service offering continues to empower agents to grow their businesses against the odds while improving the experience for home buyers and sellers. And I think that that's key because here at Real, we are focused on production first, okay? Yes, there is an attraction component to uh, being an agent here at Real Brokerage, if I love what I do here at Real Brokerage, I love the technology, I love the culture, so why wouldn't I shout it from the mountaintops? And that's exactly what I do using this platform here, YouTube and Facebook. And if another agent has made the decision to join Real Brokerage, well, it's a it's a win-win-win, right? If you're watching this and you've considered Real Brokerage and you, you are actively licensed and you're with another brokerage and you wanna learn more about why I'm here and why so many other agents are here, I'm telling you, click the link pinned in the first comment of this video. I'm happy to have a conversation. I'm going to keep it 100 with you about what real brokerage is and what it is not so that you are able to make an informed decision. Unfortunately, in my career, I didn't make informed decisions. I joined based on emotion. This go around, I used my logic. And that has really, really crystallized why I know this decision was in my best interest and it would be in your best interest as well to take a look under the hood. Last thing I want to kind of walk through here is... Total value of completed real estate transactions reached $6.8 billion in the fourth quarter of 2023, which is an increase of 92% from $3.5 billion in the fourth quarter of 2022. For the full year 2023, the total value of completed real estate transactions reached $25.9 billion, an increase of 80% from $14.4 billion in the full year of 2022. And that's again, because we are focused on production here at Real Brokerage. Other places are simply focused on recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. The last place I came from, that was the big focus. The upline that I was a part of, that was the big focus, was just recruit, recruit, recruit. But here, and I always would tell other people that I'm a production first agent. So to be in a brokerage that is focused on production, Yes, they love to attract the right type of agent, but nothing trumps culture here at Real Brokerage. I literally just got off a call with our president and he was talking about how important the competitive advantage that we have here at Real Brokerage. He lead verse with production, then value, and absolutely no silos. Can't come over here with your cool kids club or your clique or your coaching membership. You can't come here with all of that. Got to be about production here. So the writing is on the wall. As I mentioned, I want you to think as you are considering making a pivot, think with your logic first and then with your emotions. I want to get you fired up. I want you to be excited about the possibility of your real estate career by making the shift to real brokerage. But the economics have to make sense. And I believe this is the only model that does that. There are four competitive advantages that we have here at real brokerage that other places don't have. We have economics, we have culture, have technology, we have opportunity. The economics we've talked about as far as the compensation package and all the other things I mentioned, culture here at Real is unlike anywhere else that I've ever been. The technology, second to none. We are vertically integrated. Everything you need as a real estate professional with the exception of a CRM is all housed in a one-stop shop proprietary software called Reason, which I think is super important, especially as our industry continues to change. Having things in-house really protects your brands from the different shifts in the market and how certain segments of technology might change or no longer be available. So that means if your company was dependent on a certain type of technology, that company that supported that technology goes out of business, well, your business is gonna suffer in the process. So I think that that's key that we have so much that we do integrated vertically, transaction management, revenue, mortgage, everything is done in-house within a one-stop shop app. I think that's incredibly powerful for agents like myself that want to be able to move with speed at scale 
and the fact that this company has that is something that continues to drive home why this was the best decision for my family and I. Last thing I wanna talk about is the opportunity. What is the opportunity if you decided to make a move today? We were at 15,000 agents less than a month ago, and we're now at 16,000 agents. If we follow the current trajectory, we're gonna be at 50,000 agents in less than a year. I would rather be agent 15,999 than agent 50,000, if you get my meaning. So I think that the opportunity that's here has made the conversations that I'm having with so many of you agents that have reached out to me, and I'm supremely humbled that these videos are adding value to you and helping you make an informed decision about a pivot. But there's so many agents that it's an easy, easy conversation. And that hasn't always been the case in my real estate career when I'm you know, flying the flag of the brokerage that I'm with and telling everybody about the brokerage and just getting tomatoes thrown at me from other agents that have an issue with the brokerage for reasons that have nothing to do with me. Literally, I've run into agents that are like, Marv, I like how you do business. You're very professional if it's another agent on the other end of the transaction, for example, and if I would talk with them about joining the previous brokerages that I've been with, it was like, no. <laughs> they were like, they were like, heck no. For whatever reason, they already had an opinion on the brokerage that I was at at the time. And it's no convincing the unconvincible. Good Real Brokerage is honestly the easiest conversation that I've ever had. And the thing with those four pillars that I mentioned, as far as the technology, the economics, the culture, and the opportunity is that there may be other companies that offer free hot dog parties on Tuesdays or you know taco Wednesdays and things of that nature and they may beat us on the culture standpoint but there is not a company walking this earth today that will trump real brokerage in all four categories it's not happening it hasn't happened and unfortunately it'll never happen the opportunity is now my goal is to present the information as articulately as possible the opportunity cost of not booking a call could be detrimental to your business and don't forget to check out this video for more from the channel peace